dramatic, dramatic cupcake reveal to start the video. Okay, a couple of quick disclosures before I get into the topic of today. The sun is being bonkers. So if suddenly there's like white streaks across my face or across my boobs or whatever, it's not a ghost, it's not a weird boob ghost. It's just the sun, it's just nature, no big deal. Other thing, construction is happening everywhere here in Chicago, everywhere. So if you hear some banging and clanging, that's just, that's just rebuilding from the ashes. Cool, cool. So um, my name is Kelsey Huff. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I'm doing this daily vlog thing. It's new. It's an experiment where I'm doing a video every day because I, I was talking about doing videos and I wasn't doing it. And now less talking, more doing. Okay, cool, cool. If you're new, thanks for coming. If you're old hat, I love old hats. They're the most comfy. And we really appreciate you coming. I can't believe people are watching. Thank you for sending in comments and your cues. That's questions. Love it, love it, love it. All right, topic of the day. Enough rambling. I've talked about sports. <sighs> What? That's right, sports. And I know you're like, what? We thought you were an inside kid. <laughs> Shut up. I played sports. I played middle school and high school sports, and there are some valuable lessons that I learned that I did translate over into my creative slash comedy slash theater world, and I want to talk about that. I don't even know if this is universal, but I want to talk about it. Cool? Let's do it. So one, what I learned from sports and this is kind of just being able to do sports, is that I didn't compartmentalize what I learned in different fields of my life. Let me explain. So because I came from a really small school, they needed all the kids to sign up for all the things because there weren't that many of us, right? And I was a joiner, so I signed up for everything, including sports. So I was in dance class, I was in sports, I was in any academic thing that I could do, I was in any any group ever. And because I was able to do that, I learned so many lessons. And I know that I, I talked to a lot of people who go to school in like larger schools or like boarding schools, and you have to pick a thing early on and really focus on that thing, and that's it, that's your whole life. And, and that... That seemed unfortunate to me. I was, I'm so grateful and so glad that I was able to bounce, bounce, bounce and learn all of these different things and then sort of merge them all together. So not compartmentalizing because I was able to join sports was really cool. Um, the other thing is uh, I joined sports just so you know a little early because I had some issues with my legs when I was a wee little baby. I had a little brace. I had little tiny baby casts that my mom still has because she's a hoarder. And so I was uh, joining physical activities as, as a young age just to kind of overcome the tiny little ailments that I had. Uh, so that's another reason that I was in sports. And to be clear, I was not great at sports because I know some people from middle school and high school are watching these videos and I know, I know I wasn't that great. I was never always a, always a starter. Sometimes I did no big deal, but not always. Uh, and I didn't go to state or didn't play varsity or any of that kind of stuff. So I uh, know, all right, just in case you guys are like, what is she talking about? But I did learn some valuable lessons. Okay, so the compartmentalizing thing, we talked about that. I also know this is cliche, but there is something really, really valuable about the teamwork element that I learned. And I know, you guys are gonna be like, what? Did you just watch Friday Night Lights? Is that why she's doing this video? <laughs> no, but I do love that TV show so much. Tammy, Tam Tammy Taylor, y'all. <gasps> I love her so much, y'all. I love her any snooze. Um, but there is this element of teamwork that really translated and uh, very well into my creative career. And it's this idea of like navigating egos, of this idea of like you have to leave your own shit at the door because we are all working together for a greater good. And that those skills, I think because of that, because I was in sports for so many more years before I was in theater, I was really able to, ah, sunshine, I was able to jump into theater really, really quickly. And, and I liked that. I like that. Um, and I'm somebody who really values the individual. But I feel like teamwork, you can bring your own strengths uh, into this sort of greater, greater good, your own skills and whatever is asked of you. Um, ah, the sun! Whatever is asked of you, you, you bring that and it, I don't know, it feels, I feel very valued in sports. And I know that's weird because all we see about the movies are like the 80s jocks being jerks, but I actually found like self-worth and self, self-value when I played sports and I gave no wedgies let's just be clear the other thing about community is like I was very very fortunate because I was able to do a lot of all-female sports uh, now somebody like my mom I remember talking to her and they were only cheerleading that was the only thing available to her and and uh, it's just so upsetting to me that you know before title nine like all these things that you're learning, working together with women, rising up together, um, even having issues and confrontation with women, which is really valuable to like have a confrontation as in, in a sports team and not be like catty or the things that were traditionally supposed to be, but like in this position of strength. I really love that. You guys, who cares about the sun, right? We're moving on. Um, I, so I really like that. I like that, that teamwork and I like specifically making a space for women to work and build together. Uh, yeah, I really, I really dug that a lot. I also think the final, I think the final thing of the value that I learned is no matter what happens, 
Your ass has to be there. Like, you have to show up. Now, I'm not just talking about practice, which you do. You obviously have to, like, put in the work, which we talk about here on the channel a lot. Like, you put in the work. You show up. You do it. You do it. You do it. You're not just magically going to be good at something. You have to work. That is something I for sure learned at sports. And I, I feel like it's a bummer that sometimes artists don't think that. They think, like, well, it's just going to come to me. It's just going to be I'm an open vessel. Uh, and, you know, I think sometimes that happens. But I think you're an open vessel when you put in the hours. Um, so showing up, but also showing up when you know you're going to get your ass kicked. Such a valuable lesson, you guys, because that happens in the creative world all the time and nobody talks about it. Like you have to show up when you know you're not feeling good, when you know you're not feeling funny, when something terrible has happened in your life that week and you have to go and tell jokes anyway, you still have to show up. And if I didn't learn that in sports, I think that would have been really, really hard for me. If like, well, I'm having a bad day, I can't tell jokes, I'm just going to sit at home. No, 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 no. You absolutely cannot. Sometimes you're not going to feel it and it doesn't matter. And people are going to ask things of you uh, that you think you can't do and you have to rise up and do it even when you choke. Uh, and that is a really valuable lesson. And I know that people are squiffy about this because I feel like I, I came from a, a family. My mom was very super supportive and my dad was supportive of sports, but he was an old school dad where it's like failure is not an option. You fail, it feels bad, especially when you're getting yelled at from the sidelines. But it's not the end of the world. There's this idea that like failing is the worst thing that can happen, both in sports and in art. And it isn't. It's part of the thing. You're going to get up. I remember this. I remember getting up and it was like a tie. I played, so I played volleyball, softball, basketball. And uh, I remember softball. I got up. That's the doorbell. <laughs> Life. I mean, I like killed a game for us and it was devastating. But I got up the next day and went to practice. And I think that's really valuable. So I really love that. Also, I want to talk about injury. So I tore my ACLs uh, once in basketball, once in volleyball. Uh, no, I'm sorry, in softball. And uh, there's something about injury, too, that I really love. But when you physically are unable to do the thing you love, what happens next? I really liked sports. And I was unable to do them. I didn't play my junior and senior year um, because I couldn't. And how to, like, build yourself back up physically and mentally. And when something closes, if you love something... How do you work around it? And that's going to happen to me in my comedy career. Now, I don't know if I'm physically going to be able, like some, you know, but I'm going to get older. My mind and my voice is going to change. And instead of being like, well, I guess I'm done now. What's another avenue? What else can you do? Because one of the things is, and I know this is going to sound weird, but when I injured my first knee, I worked so hard to get my ACL back together. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm still going to play sports, even though I'm not that good, but I still wanted to do it. The next year I was in softball, catching people's dreams. And I like twisted my uh, leg in a gopher hole because the country tore the other leg. The second this one healed, this one, oh, it was su it's such a bummer. But what I learned to do is I started riding the bench for a while. But then people started asking me to do announcements. So I started announcing like wrestling matches, which is a weird thing to do. <laughs> but I was like just uh, suddenly I'm like, okay, if I can't be involved in this world in this way, how can I be involved? And because of that, uh, that's when I actually started doing announcements and then I started like auditioning for theater stuff and I and I I'm very physical in my comedy as well and so the non-compartmentalizing the the using team and collaboration the being okay with failure even though it's uncomfortable and the, and the ability to when something closes or when your your path shifts how do you keep going forward all of that stuff I learned from sports and I'm super grateful and I gave no wedgies you guys <laughs> So I don't know if you had similar experiences. Maybe it wasn't sports for you. Maybe it was something else. But put down in the comments below, what did you learn from other elements of your life that you, of course, are using uh, in your creative world? Share. Let us know. I love these tips. Thank you for being patient with the construction, the bell, the sun, my weird stripy sun boobs. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Bye. Oh, sun boobs.